Coach, uh, you, you've been out of coaching for two years. You, you said recently that you had opportunities to take jobs, but you passed on them because you wanted to find the right fit, the right location, the right culture. What is it about Hawaii that makes you feel that it is the right fit? Yeah, obviously, you know, one of the things I'll, I'll, I'll t share with you is, is being out of the game. I, I can tell you that, uh, that, that that the last 24 months has been probably the greatest learning experience of my life. Uh, I, I was, I, I believe that good Lord put me on this earth to impact young people and be a teacher. And I'm going to tell you, I would never take that for granted because, uh, you know, I, I can tell you I've missed it. Uh, getting uh, the players, I see a bunch more players in here and getting to visit with them today and, and, and to be, in, be able to lead and impact young people's lives is something that, uh, man, is important to me. So that, that, that's one big thing. I think, uh, you know, in my life, my priorities uh, are my faith. Uh, we're, a, we're a very spiritual family. Uh, we are, a, 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 you know, family is what's important to me. The way I approach uh, being an educator is very family-driven, family-centered. Uh, I've, I've been here and visited here. It's one of uh, our, and I can tell you, we're, we're, we're going to buy a house, uh, I think, east of here, and, and it's our forever house because uh, I can tell you, my wife and I, most of I've got five college graduates. Uh, probably should have mentioned that. Very proud of that. Got one 17-year-old. Uh, that's uh, that's fired up to be a part of it, but really that to me it, it was a great fit in that the values that, that that this state and this university is about I believe that that I fit and I and, I, and I'm gonna tell you this I've learned I've made mistakes in the past and I've made uh, uh, I thought I could win anywhere and, and you have to fit a place and so I you know if you ask me in one word to describe who I am I'm all about relationship and to me when I think of Hawaii, I think of the experiences I've had here, the people that I know here, the kids that I've coached that have been from here. That, that's how I describe Hawaii. Coach, thank you. Uh, when you were at Arizona State, I'm sure you got the opportunity to recruit the state of Hawaii. Uh, when you look at high school football players in this state, just in general, what kind of athletes do you see? Well, one, one of the things that I'll tell you is kind of interesting, a, a young man that played for me in 2010 that came here and played. Uh, you, you know, when, when I took the job, your players are calling you and congratulating you. And uh, he, he made a point, he called his name Nelson Cole and played middle linebacker for us and was a great player. And uh, he said, man, coach, he said, let me tell you now, those guys out there bring it. And we actually won that game. But, you know, and I told the players, one of the things that really – the game of football I love because it emulates life. It's tough. It's hard. It's physical, right? And uh, uh, when, I, when I think of the, the attributes of, of what it is to play here and the style of football, uh, one of the things that watching those games and watching them, it wasn't any, you know, it wasn't any fluke when they, when they beat the, the Pac-12 teams this last year. I watched them out physical them. And so that's the thing that I know. I know that, uh, uh, you know, We'll recruit the best and the brightest with the best character that fit our program uh, right here from, from these islands first. And so, uh, you know, I, I, there's a competitiveness, uh, you know, that, uh, that I think in, the, in this region that is unique. And so that's something I'm excited about. And our players will tell you, now, I'm, I'm a passionate guy. And, uh, you know, I, what I love about this game is it is hard. It's difficult to win. I'm going to tell you, winning 10 football games is hard to do. What they accomplished is, is pretty amazing. Uh, and obviously, we got we got unfinished business, and that's that's go win that championship. One more for me, real quick. Yes, sir. Uh, player development, something that I think is really big in college football, and it's listed here on your resume. What's the recipe for player development? Well, my big thing, I'm I'm an educator and a teacher. Uh, you know, everybody wants to go fast, right? We're going to be fast tempo. And we're going we're going to we're going to play the game at a, at a blistering pace. I think it's very difficult because for a defense to be able to operate in that kind of pressure. Obviously, you've seen the emergency of, the emergence of the spread offense and just how difficult that is. So points are going, they've gone up, you know, big time. And so, you know, the key to doing that is that you, if you have young people and you have a set of values and you, 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 you assign young people and you recruit young people and you develop young people and coaches with character first, and then you recruit young people that are smart and you're organized. It produces something called discipline. And we're going to be able to operate faster and more efficient and more physical than the opponent because of our discipline. Does that make sense? So developing staff and developing players to me 
uh, is, about, is about education, it's about teaching. We integrate technology into teaching. Uh, what we're going to do offensively and defensively is going to be complex. One of the things I told the players is they're not learning a whole new terminology. Uh, you know, the success uh, here, uh, you know, you, you can research it, and the success here has already been designed. There's a design to be successful here. Uh, and I can tell you, I like it. I, every, any offensive coordinator we have here is going to throw the ball 15 times deep down the field because I like that. Fans like that. <laughs> and it scores touchdowns. So that, that's that, that's kind of how we're going to do it. Defensively, we're going to attack. We're going to we're going to be hard to prepare for in three days. And to do that, it's easy to sit up and say that, but it's hard to get done. And so uh, you know, it, developing them starts with you develop their heart, then their mind, then the body body follows. But uh, we're going to teach, and we're going to train. Uh, and, and you know, we talked this morning about winning championships. Everybody's fired up. But I'm going to tell you now, we're going to go to work because no one's going to outwork us. And, and that, and, and you know, what I mean by that too is being smart uh, by how we go about working. And there's lots of things that we can do. I'm excited about. I think there's lots of things we can do in development with our players. And. Uh, We'll be very methodical in who we bring here and how we, you know, obviously, you know, that's something that's really important to me. And I've had the, uh, you know, privilege of, uh, of developing assistant coaches have gone on to be head football coaches and, and selecting the right people for the right fit here. But those coaches will come in and adapt to our players. The players are not going to adapt to the coaches. Does that make sense? I mean, from a terminology standpoint. And, and then from a, from a standpoint as far as training them physically. Uh, it's just, you know, it's just, a, it's every day uh, training to operate faster and more efficient uh, with the discipline that it takes to dominate. Coach, uh, welcome. Um, what do you make of the roster you're inheriting and how do you think it aligns with uh, what you want to accomplish on both sides of the ball? Well, I'm very impressed. Uh, you know, I think we got things in place uh, that, that we can do the things that we've talked about. Uh, you know, uh, I think, you know, obviously you, you, there, you can improve. There's no question about that. Uh, but I, I like the roster. I like, I, I tell you, I, I don't, I was, I, I've never been in a meeting. I told Dave this. I, I was, I was in, as impressed with our young men this morning as much as I've ever been impressed with any group I've ever met with. I mean, I was impressed. And so we, we've got, uh, they've done some hard work. They've done some grinding here. They've done that. They've, they've developed and trained these guys pretty well, I think. Because uh, you know the brand, I think we have a physicality, a base of physicality. Uh, I think we got some guys that can run. I think we got some speed. Obviously, can't ever have enough speed. You know uh, that this, you know that the art, you know how you play the game is speed, explosive power, uh, and, uh, and and I think the tempo is what what defines who we are. Because our old deal, we're not trying to trick anybody. We're trying to create a fifth quarter by the pace in which we go, and then. When things get tough, then you find out what people are made of. And I, and I'm, I'm, I, I, I like the base that we have here. Uh, it seems um, wherever you've uh, been a head coach, you, raise, you personally raise a lot of money for the program. Is that part of your role here too? Absolutely. I, you, know, uh, you know, my deal is I told our players that, that uh, part of me asking them to give their best every day. I told them I don't want anybody to have a great attitude. I want your best attitude every day, your best, period. And so when it comes, obviously there's lots of things we can do to, uh, to, to maximize the development of our players with, with technology uh, in classroom settings and, and, in, and improving uh, uh, you know, our nutrition, improving how we train, improving the, the uh, apparatuses that we have to, to initiate great training. Uh, there's all kinds of things we can do, and, and part of that involves money. And so uh, uh, we, we'll work hard. I think when you have a great cause, when you have a great cause in your heart and you're doing things the right way, people will get behind that cause. And so we've been, I've been fortunate enough to do that. And I think it's all about relationship. You know, uh, you know, I, I, over the last, you know, 12 years being division one football coach, I have not had one, you know, I mean, obviously you gotta win. I mean, you know, you have to win, period. And, but define winning, define winning. Uh, the pe people will get behind, you know, I think, it, you know, you know a team that has scholar ballers that are, you know, you got a football team operating at 3.0 or higher GPA. You get, you're graduating your football players. Uh, you, you, you're doing things with class and character and integrity and not any, no, no median standards. I'm talking about high standards when it comes to that. And people, people will activate and, and be about that cause. And, and I, I just think that that's part of my job is uh, it, they, they deserve my best too. And so whatever I can do, to, to advance this university, this community, 
I represent this state, this university, and this athletic department. So I'll be as involved as, as uh, my uh, my superiors want me to be. Coach, do you have a uh, timetable on your staff hire and will whoever you hire as an offense coordinator, how much will that affect the offense that you decide to run uh, in, in Pacifics? Well, like I said, I mean we're going to run. I mean, I mean basically. You know, uh, we're going to be a full wide spread, no fast paced offense. We're going to stretch the field vertically and horizontally. Uh, you know, obviously the run and shoot has been here for forever. Uh, I think it's worked pretty good. So, uh, like I said, we'll have an offensive coordinator that believes in, in our, we'll have one philosophy here. And I've, I've defined that today. And uh, I've, got, I've got a great candidate pool. Uh, I've obviously got an idea of what I want to do. Uh, I'm not hiring all my buddies, I'm going to hire guys that fit here. And, that, and I'm going to be very, very, uh, I'm a process guy. I'm not going to uh, make emotional decisions. And I'm going to take my time to make sure that we get it right. And so but it, it, we, we, we would like to get that done uh, yesterday. But uh, uh, we'll, we'll move uh, as, as quickly as, as need be. But I, I anticipate the next few weeks, uh, you know, making great progress in that. But like I said, I think it's one of the things I've, I've learned in transitions is that in transitions, we just won 10 football games. So why would you come and completely change what you're doing? Why wouldn't you take and look at that film and the things that we did great, let's build upon. You know, uh, we're gonna run four verticals. They ran four verticals last year. Whatever they called it last year, that's what we're gonna call it. And so lots of times with coaches, and that's I guess that's my educational background, is that I'm just not willing to do that. We're not changing terminology. We're, we're, you know, there's gonna be obviously some new things, uh, but, uh, uh, we're going to build upon the things that we've done, right? Because uh, what I want to be doing is, 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 is winning a Mountain West championship next year. And to do that, it sets you back all the things you have to, to relearn. Does that make sense? Uh, last one for me, just do you plan to talk to Rolovich about the returning staff that is still here in, in Manoa that about uh, retaining them? Uh, I'm going I'm to work hard. My first priority was our players today. Uh, my next priority is, is retaining the best and the brightest uh, and the quality people that are here that want to be a part of what we're doing. Uh, I'll, I will rehire everyone that, that every, everyone we hire, I'll hire. And uh, so, so uh, absolutely, our, our, that's our priority. Our priority right now, my, my number one priority today was our players. Uh, and then obviously when I leave here is going to be uh, adding to that list of, with, with recruits. Uh, but staff's really, really important. And we just won 10 football games. So I imagine there's some pretty quality people here, so we're going to work hard to try, you know, to, to, to I'm, I'm not, uh, uh, you know, uh, saying how that process is going to go, where it's going to go, but obviously those people are being strongly considered. Coach? Yes, sir. Bobby Curran, ESPN Honolulu. I wanted to welcome you first and ask you, uh, this is might be similar to Texas in that high school football and football generally is important here. How do you reach out? How do you form those relationships? particularly with high school coaches and local parents? Well, it's just one handshake at a time. With our fans, with our fan base, uh, one of the things I love about football is, man, when you win, everybody loves you. <laughs> and, and so if you lose, uh, you know, they, they ain't, they're not going to like you. So, so that's just the way I love that about football, the purity of that. High school coaches, I, I, I consider myself a high school football coach. In 2000, I was the head football coach at Allen High School. I grew up and my goal in life was to be a high school football coach and give back. You know, I didn't have a dad and, and so so coaches, my seventh grade coach was my dad. And so getting to know them and when they know that you're pouring into their players and they know that you're making a difference. What I cared about when I was a high school football player, I cared the college coaches came in there, I expected them to take care of my players. And, uh, and when you're talking about the a young man's future, uh, their education, uh, their development, uh, it's a big deal. And so it's not something that you come in and immediately happens. You get out one handshake at a time and you earn their trust and you earn their respect. And you do that by, by taking care of their young people and, and, and helping, their, helping them reach their dreams. That's it. Thanks everybody for coming. All right, go both. <laughs>